And the Internet introduces everybody, no matter how weird, no matter how marginalized, no matter how peculiar, to the fact that there are others like you. There are others like you. Find the others. Make common cause. Uh, realize that uh, it's the deals you cut and the friends you make that determine where you're going to be standing when the flash hits. I mean, that's just obvious. And the cultural game is a game of uniformitarianism. Cultural myths are that we are all alike. We Americans, each created equal. It's a necessary truth to do political business, but it is not the truth. The truth is that you are not created equal with yourself from day to day. Leave alone any comparison with anybody else. You are not the person you were yesterday, nor the person you will be next week. What is an observation like that? Uh, what shadow does it cast in a world of all people are created equal? So culture plays a game of simplification. If you can make people think alike, they will buy alike, they will worship alike, and if, you know, politics demands it, they will kill alike. So the uniformitarian agenda of culture is not an agenda friendly to you or to me or to any other individual. And if you start out from that point of view, you will soon realize that culture is not your friend. Culture is not your friend. If you define yourself as a member of a group, of any group, know that that is a gross simplification and that everything about you that is interesting and unique is betrayed by defining yourself in that way. Uh, you know, most racism is practiced by people of the race that they are making racial judgments about. White people have far more racial opinions about white people than any other racial group because that's where they spend their time. These gross simplifications betray humanity, betray uniqueness, make sane politics impossible. What we have to do is get back to the reality of the flesh, the reality of the individual identity. This is how we come packaged. Uh, a race, that's an abstraction. These days you have to have three years of genetics under your belt to give a satisfactory definition of the word if we're really going to go to the math on it. I mean, it's an, it's, an, it's an abstraction of modern science. It's a notion so far removed from anything you and I come in contact with that we should just junk it. What we need to celebrate is the individual. It's, have you not noticed, I certainly have, that every historical change you can think of, in fact, any change you can think of, forget about human beings, any change in any system, that you can think of is always ultimately traceable to one unit in the system undergoing a phase state change of some sort. No group, there are no group decisions. Those things come later. The genius of creativity and of initiation of activity always lies uh, with the individual. And it's very interesting that this is what the psychedelics address. They address us uniquely as individuals. You can sit next to somebody who drank from the same bottle you did and be perfectly confident that their experience has very little congruency uh, with your own.